Guys, James from Street Science of Fighting here. I'm representing Brazilian top team out of Austin, Texas with the single I'm wearing here. So if anyone's from Austin or around that area, give us a shout in the comments. But this is a follow on to my retraining speed video, which was done a couple of weeks back. You can check that out after this video. But essentially we're looking at the phase one of jumps and plyometrics training for retraining speed. Now we don't want to go straight into uh, intensive jumping and plyometrics because our tendons and muscles aren't ready for it. So this is a way to prepare your tendons and muscles for more intense exercises. And this first exercise is an extensive box jump. And essentially all you're doing is staying relaxed, playful, just small bounces on and off um, different height uh, steps or boxes. Second thing, we have an extensive rolling hop. So this is like a mini broad jump or a mini long jump. Again, just to get used to the impact, flow, rhythm, and everything there. Another view from the side. So these are just a couple of exercises that you can do on their own. Um, you can do for 10 to 20 reps or even more. Then we go into the first jump circuit. And this is just a bilateral jump circuit. And I like to do around 10 reps for the jumping exercises and use around 20 reps for the pogo style exercises such as those extensive box jumps and then with around 10 seconds or so rest in between each exercise and I'll do around five to seven exercises in a set um, and for this particular one I didn't do the pogo because I had already done the extensive box jump which I showed you before which is almost like that quick ground contact um, exercise that plyometric exercise so this is going to be a mixture of jumps and plyometrics. This particular circuit is mainly jumps because I've taken a lot of that fast plyometric out just because of that first extensive box jump exercise. But that doesn't mean you can't use that extensive box jump or even that extensive rolling hop within the circuit itself. So this circuit, you could literally replace these step up jumps with that extensive box jump to get that um, plyometric action. Or we could use the ankle pop pogo exercise, which is essentially like jumping rope but without um, the skipping rope so this is just uh, coming up to the end of the circuit um, by the circuit and this is what I would call phase one probably the easiest that anyone can do from the very beginning um, you'll find that uh, it's a lot of work and you'll be gassed after performing circuits like this and you can perform anywhere from one to four circuits within a workout start with one and then build from there now we're getting into a second extensive circuit and this one's a more advanced one just because it's geared towards unilateral so we're trying to focus on that one leg so starting with split squat jumps and after this we're going to move into single leg pogos and because it's single leg I've dropped the reps down from 20 to around 15 obviously you can play around between 10 and, and 20 reps so it's just going to, going to among the time you have to train and things like that so play around with those it's not going to matter too much even if you start with 10 reps you can always build uh, from week to week and adding reps to the exercise um, you'll find this is a lot more tiring because you're doing one leg each so you're having to repeat some things which means you may need a little longer rest between each exercise there's no hard and fast rule on this rest between exercises it's just so you can catch your breath to be able to do the next exercise without too much fatigue you still want to have some of that pop off the ground and have that plyometric action so with the plyometrics you're looking at very fast ground contact time so you're looking at basically touching the ground and coming back up as quickly as possible whereas the jump exercises you're going to have a little longer um, time on the ground as you see from these uh, some of these exercises tuck jump now so this is probably this is the only bilateral exercise actually within this circuit there's no hard and fast rule again you don't have to make this just one leg you can mix you can mix exercises from the first circuit within the exercises in the second circuit to create your own so there's no hard and fast rule again you can be creative i'm just kind of trying to show you how you could create different circuits with different emphasis that are essentially going to challenge you um, as you progress through your extensive jumps and plyometrics now being extensive again we're trying to be relaxed smooth rhythmic nothing should be maximal with this and then the final circuit is the most advanced extensive jump and plyometric circuit and it's essentially focusing on rotation. So we have a 180 degree squat jump, same thing with the step up, we're having step ups with a little bit of rotation, essentially like a 45 or 90 degree change of direction with the rotation. And then same thing with our four way ankle pops here. Now you could even, this is such a low level plyometric exercise anyway, you could even use 
this four-way ankle pop in, as part of the first circuit as well. So again, you can mix and match between all the different circuits to create your own, or you can progress through as you get more comfortable with each one. Now this one I quite like for strikers. So you're not always going side to side or front to back with your various plyometrics and jump with your skater jumps. You're actually going in different directions. So this one is essentially like a six way or um, doing circles of, of the skater jump. So we're going one forward, one diagonal forward, one straight out to the side, one diagonal backwards, and then one all the way backwards. Um, and you're gonna do that with both legs. And this is, this is a good way to prepare yourself for multi-directional movement as well, especially when you start getting into maximal changes of direction. And then finally, just finishing off with some more single leg pogos, but doing it in our four way. And these are essentially the three circuits and a lot and a bunch of um, extensive jumping and plyometric things that you can use to prepare yourself for more intense jumping and plyometric variations as you retrain speed.